electricity meters. Now, we've all seen the S200.7. And we've all seen the S301.1. But here's the thing. How about if I put both of them next to each other up in front of the camera at the same time? Okay, just let me get that door stop out of the way. I should go and get them and then we shall be comparing a domestic instrument to a three-phase industrial one. This is Wayne's Electrical. Keep the intro. Okay then, you've tuned in for another electricity meter video on Wayne's Electrical, and you know you need this one. So what we're going to be doing is comparing domestic instruments to industrial ones. That little box just there is what the electric meter sits on just to keep it upright in this video. And coming into shots, right about now we are going to be showing the Sangamo Western S200.7. Okay, just let me go and get that and I shall put it up in front of the camera. Pop! There it is then, okay, the S200.7, let me just turn that camera up a bit, there it is. Fully cleaned up and restored as well, had its accuracy test and everything's lovely, fantastic and tickety-boo in there. You can just see the beginning of the load wheel right there, okay. So there it is, now, the S301.1 then, it is the industrial uh, electric meter, and uh, well, let's go and get that and put it up in front of the camera then. Up. There it is. Okay, the big old chunky Sangamo Western S301.1. And there we go. So you can see then that, uh, well, one's looking a little bit bigger than the other. But the thing that you've tuned in for is to see them right next to each other at the same time. You know you need that one. Let me bring the uh, S200.7 back in then. There it is, it's back, but we're now going to do the reveal where we put the S301.1 next to that and we're going to be putting it right about there. Get ready for this, it's quite sizeable. Oh, there we go. Now you can see the size difference between an industrial free phase Sangamo Western S301.1 and the little baby domestic S200.7. Yes, they are quite sizeable. I'm just using the battery to hold that up, but not to worry about that. Okay, so this one's three phase and this one's single phase. There we are. Let's zoom in on them then. You can see all the details on them. Now, before I do zoom in any further, I have done individual videos on this. This one's got general discussion video, powered up video, and an accuracy test. Same with the S200.7. General discussion, a power up, and a uh, accuracy test as well. And it's also had a clean up and a restore, which I've done on my previous channel. Okay, so they're all there. You can find the general discussion videos in the electricity meters playlist. You can find the powered up videos in the powered up playlist. And you can find the accuracy tests in the accuracy tests playlist. Okay, for both of these instruments. So there they are. Let's continue zooming in on them then, and just have a quick refresher of the characteristics. There we go then. So this one, as you can see, it's 3 times 240 volts, 50 hertz alternation frequency, 3 times 50 amps, that's per phase of course. Look at this, a very slow 40 revs per kilowatt hour, 3 phase 4 wire of course, and... Both of the instruments have a float-on magnetic bearing, okay? No numbering on this one, so I don't know the age of this one. Like I say, when I bought this one, it didn't have any reading on it, but it did come with a couple of uncrimped uh, anti-tamper seals. So I've got a feeling that this one might have been calibrated and then put on a shelf somewhere, waiting to go into service, 
But then the electronic meters come along, and it didn't bother, and uh, it came up for sale. Okay, so I don't really think this one's ever been used. S200.7 though is a bit of a different story, because it is quite clearly used. Let's zoom in on the specification plate for this one. There we go. 240 volts, 50 hertz alternation frequency, 40 amps max. Single phase two wire, of course. Uh, being domestic, it's got a, a quite a higher low build characteristic of 250 revs per kilowatt hour. That's 200.7. You can see down here then it says S60C on it, which is the first year it was calibrated and put into service. And then just a little bit, bit up the top there, next to the load wheel, we've got the gold certification badge there, which uh, means it recalibrated 26 years later in 1986, and it says on there, certified 86SO. So there we are. That then is little domestic S200.7 and the big old industrial three-phase S301.1 then. Okay. Are they deeper? Okay, look from the back to the front. Well, I could quickly uh, jig them around and uh, we'll have a look at that then. Uh, shall I keep the camera going? Actually, I will stop it just to save it on the footage. Just bear with me a moment. There we are then. Side to side and we can see the depth of them now. As we can see, there's not really that much in it. This is the domestic S200.7 and the big old industrial S301.1, as we can see by the difference in height. Okay, although we can't really uh, properly measure it that way because uh, the terminal covers on these are, you know, that's the S200.7 and the S301.1 isn't as big as that. If I can get in there. Well, not really, but you can see the difference there. That is how much further out the S301 sticks. There you go, so level at the back. There we are. And there we go. So there it is then. Let me just put them back as they were. Just bear with me a moment on that. There they are then, back there, next to each other, up in front of the camera at the same time. Domestic S200.7 and the industrial free face S301.1. I hope you enjoyed watching this one, okay? It's a nice little insight in reference to, you know, the domestic and the industrial equivalents. Uh, I don't really think any other channel's done that. I know Redalco's got quite a few electric beaters, but I don't really think he's ever done a comparison between... Uh, the big S301.1 and the S200.7. I know he's got a few of these on his channel, and he's even got these ones where they're meter twins, and they've got interesting serial numbers. One's got uh, X44444, and the other one is X44443. Okay, and uh, it's the accuracy magnet frame in there is slightly different. And uh, yes, he's got. Uh, I think he's got three S200.7s as far as I know, two of them are meter twins. I'm not sure if he's got an S301 uh, instrument, though, or any, or any from the S301 series. That's an S301.1. If you look on my channel, they've also got an S301.9. Okay, that came along a bit later. And, of course, just to wrap this one up, if you want to know the interesting story of how I came to acquire this one, and, uh, you know, you want to look up on that then go to the general discussion video on that okay you can find that in the electricity meters playlist just dive in there and uh look up sangamo western s200.7 this video however you will find it in the general discussion playlist okay along with the individual video for this and that one okay don't forget the powered up playlists and the accuracy test playlist to see these be revved up at top whack and backwards of course and for their accuracy tests. If you enjoyed this one, big old thumbs up for both of these instruments. Both of them are Sangamo Western. They've both got the float on magnetic bearings as well. Big old thumbs up for both of these instruments then.
Now, if you want more electricity meter videos, whack the subscribe button, really pound it to make sure that you are now a subscriber to Wayne's Electrical, and I've got to go. Okay, I've already discussed all the relevant playlists, so everything's wonderful and fantastic and tickety boo then. This one, as like every other video, has been in full HD, 1920x1080p, with stereo sound on the camera, and I am off. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in for watching this one then. More electricity meter videos later on. Cheers then.